Hey there folks, Paul Markle with Student of the Gun here, and today we're going to talk about the Century Arms AP-5, or Apparatus Pistol. And you say, Paul, I looked at the Century Arms website, and that doesn't look like the gun they have on the website. Well, I had to markle it up a little bit, but this is the AP-5, it's made in Turkey on HK Original uh, Equipment, it is made very much like the SP-5 or the MP-5, uh, but this is a semi-automatic 9mm pistol from Century Arms. Okay, the, uh, the gun itself obviously has been modified a little bit by me. Probably the most notable, notable modification is the installation of the SB Tactical Brace. This is an SB Tactical Sliding Brace, and in order to install this, what you would do is remove the original factory backplate cover or back cover. You take that off. The HK pin, super simple. You pop out the pin, remove the original factory cover. You install the SB Tactical cover and of course the stabilizing brace. Fantastic, very, very well-built piece of gear right there. Right here on top, what I've done, now the AP-5 comes with a Picatinny rail mount from Century Arms, and what I did is I installed it, I put it on there, and then on that I put a hollow sun. It's This is the HS4003 or 43403 Bravo. Now, if you guys know anything about optics today, the Hollow Sun, they came on like gangbusters a few years ago. I've had this one probably for a couple of years. I've had a couple of different Hollow Sun optics that I've been using on various different guns, shotguns, rifles, pistols. Haven't had any problem with them. Uh, they work just fine. They have like 10, 20, 30,000 hour battery life. So I have no problem with the Hollow Suns. If you want to put something else on there, go crazy. One thing that I truly appreciate, though, uh, is the fact that this mount right here is a see-through mount. So what that allows you to do is it allows you, when you shoulder the gun or when you hold it up one inch away from your shoulder, you can look straight through, see the red dot, but if for some reason God is displeased with you that day and your battery dies or something goes wrong, you can just duck your head down and look straight through and use the typical iron sights or the factory sights. Now the factory sights are very much HK style. This is a drum adjustable rear sight and then you have the protected front sight post. Front sight post is guarded so you can drop it, knock it around, whatever, and it's not, gonna, uh, not going to get hurt. What did I put on this as a finish? Thank you very much for asking. So what I did was I stripped it down, disassembled it completely, and I treated the entire gun, the rail, because the rail was a little bit different color than the body, and the grips were a little bit different color than, than the metal and the aluminum and the steel and so forth. So I treated the entire thing with Duracoat slightly darker black. Yes, slightly darker black finish I put on that. And uh, you can get that from Duracoat. What do we have up front here? Up front, we have a flash hider slash muzzle device, but you can take this off, and let me see if I can do it on camera while I'm, I'm talking to you guys. You pull it back, take it off, come on. It really isn't that hard. There you go. All right, so what this does is it closes, there's a three lug mount on here, there's a three lug mounting system on the barrel, and there's also half by 28 threads. So you can remove this relatively easily, and then you can take something like this Tyrant right here. This is the Tyrant 9mm silencer from AAC, and uh, just thread it right on there. Now if you, get a, if you have a three lug, then you're good to go. So now, look at that. So now I have a quiet shooting gun. I have a very quiet shooting gun. What did I get to feed these? Thank you very much for asking. Okay, the gun itself comes with two 30-round MKE 9mm magazines here. 30-round magazines. These are an HK style. Uh, basically, 
any magazines that will feed either the SP5 or the MP5 uh, will feed this right here. So that's a very good thing. 230 round magazines come with the gun. I decided to shop around and I find some. I found some others. ETS makes these polymer see-through magazines. This is a 30, this is a 40. Uh, they're, they're plastic, obviously, polymer plastic. So far, I haven't had any problems with these. So, so far, so good for these ETS magazines. This is actually my first experience using them. So, there you go. What do I have here? I went online to uh, hkparts.net, hkparts.net, and I bought an original Heckler & Coke HK 20 round magazine, just because I wanted to have an actual AK magazine, or, I'm sorry, MP5 HK magazine. Uh, they're not cheap. The actual genuine HK 30 round magazines will set you back right around 90 bucks. I think this 20 round one sent me back around 40 some bucks. So, but I did get an original HK mag to go with the gun. And then right here, uh, a good friend of mine, my friend Zach, who knows guns because he builds guns, I asked him about the MP5 and about KCI magazines. Now you're like, oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, KCI. I've heard about them, and I've heard about the nightmares of KCI magazines. Well, I noticed that a lot of manufacturers, or not a lot of manufacturers, a lot of uh, distributors, wholesalers, retailers, were selling 30-round MP5 magazines from KCI. And I asked my friend Zach if he had any experience with them, and he said, well... What I've heard is the Gen 2, the Gen 2 KCI mags are pretty good. So this actually is the latest magazine that I purchased. I just got this a few days ago. I uh, took it out, stuffed it full, set it on the shelf, and like two days later I went out and I shot it. Ran fine. I reloaded it again at the range. Shot another 30 rounds out of it and it ran fine. So, so far so good. Uh, these will set you back around $39 or so. Um, if And these are available. The KCI, I would say, look for the Gen 2. KCI Gen 2 is about $39. Bucks. If you can find the MKE magazines, great. I have not been able to find these online. I think Century probably bought all of them. <laughs> all of them that were in existence. If you can find the HK magazines, the actual MP5 mags, uh, you can find... Weird stuff like 10 rounders and 15 rounders. Uh, this is a 20 rounder. I know it looks kind of short, but it still does hold 20 rounds. Uh, like 40 some dollars. The genuine HK 30 round magazines will probably set you back around 90 bucks. So there you go. Uh, this gun, uh, I've shot, I, I got a bunch of the Red Army standard 9mm ammunition. It's a steel case ammo. I've shot about four to 500 rounds of that through this gun so far with no malfunctions, no problems. It shoots fantastically well. The one thing that I was advised, and I took this advice, was that uh, to go ahead and strip the gun down, lube it up very well, because these guns like to be run wet. So that's exactly what I did. I stripped it apart. I lubed it up, lubed up the bolt, the bolt carrier, put it back together, and I've had no problems with this gun. Uh, it's a lot of fun to shoot. If you're interested in the HK style of the roller lock, and of course, what do we have? What do you got to do? You got to do that HK slap, right? You got to do that. You feel like you're, you're in Die Hard doing the HK slap. So uh, AP5, it's a lot of fun to shoot. It's a very interesting gun, extremely well made, very, very well made gun. And it's available right now from Century Arms or from your favorite gun dealer. So if you want one, get one. If you don't, then don't. But this is the AP5 pistol from Century Arms, and it's the one that I markled up. All right, guys, this is Paul from Student of the Gun. Remember, you're a beginner once, a student for life.